Oh man, what can you say? Oh, phew. tough news. Tough news. Um, in fact, uh, so tough that I actually canceled my plans for a uh, Fourth of July. Um, I was gonna go down and celebrate down in Baltimore, and um, I was about to leave now. It takes a bell. It takes roughly a couple hours to get in Baltimore. We probably be down there right when the fireworks were ending, but. It's uh, it's tough. Um, uh, Steve McNair, uh, two-year quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens, led the Ravens to a 13 and three season, which was the first in franchise history. Um, it's been shot to death. Uh, another also, another uh, woman, also in the home, was shot to death downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, Nashville police are still on the scene, but whew, crazy. It's crazy. Uh, I, you know, uh, he only played for the Ravens for two years, but those two years seemed like many. And, I, and the video I just made earlier, I'm sorry it, it kind of seemed so brief and brief and seemed like I didn't care, but I had to get it through real quick because I had to make a video real quick and call my friends and said, you know what, I'm not going down Baltimore today. Um, I don't know what's happening. Uh, if this would have happened last week, it would have officially been the worst week in my entire life because I lost Michael Jackson, Farrah Fawcett, uh, Ed McMahon that week, uh, Earlier than non train people, I keep people that got on a train. A week earlier, guy got shot, museum guard, and luckily that never went on to nothing big. Um, and now, you know, Billy Mays died, and now Steve McNair's dead. He got shot. Um, you know, he was he was an inspiration to every player in the NFL. Just like uh, Ray Lewis is, you know, he's an inspiration. And Ray Lewis and McNair were close, and I know, you know, Ray's upset right now. The Ravens are upset, man. The Ravens' flags are at half staff. The NFL's flags will be at half staff. And if I had an actual flagpole, I have a Ravens flag that actually hangs up like a, like a, like a pole. I would put the flag at half staff, but I don't have one of them. So, mm. hope they catch this son of a bitch. You know, everybody's saying it's, it's it was a some people. I don't hope it was some saying it was a murder suicide, but I ain't believing that shit. I ain't believing that shit. I wouldn't believe that shit. You know, that, that's just like coming up and telling you your own mother hates it. Like, you know, you wouldn't believe it. So, hear that kind of shit. No. If it's true and somebody did do this and it was a random act, or even if it was an intentional act, you know, robbery, assault, whatever you want to call it, that happened. And then when he got shot and killed, this person needs to be caught and needs to be... I'm not going to express my opinions because if I do, I'll probably get kicked off YouTube. But you know what has to happen. You know, it's it's it's, it's just terrible. You know, it's just like, it's just like when, uh, you know, when, you know, a guy from Denver was shot. My head's so messed up now, I can't remember both names. Uh, and then when uh, the guy from the uh, Washington Redskins, I believe, was shot and killed. I mean, it's, or killed. It, it's crazy, man. I mean, you, you think every day these players can't be hurt, harmed. You know, you're just an NFL player, but they're just like us, man. And, you know, each minute someone dies in this world, you know, and one times out of ten, it's got to be somebody we know. And... The NFL community's been hit hard, man. He he took the Ravens 13-3. If it wasn't for the Colts, man, we'd have probably went to the Super Bowl that year. First time in, in league history he went to 13-3. And he took us there for two years and then retired. But he left a professional mark on Baltimore. You know, it wasn't just, hey, he just came in and left and Joe Flacco came in. Or Kyle Bowler came in. He left an intentional mark on Baltimore. And that intentional mark was the, just, just the, the love of, of, of McNair. And he played for Tennessee. He played for Houston. I know Nashville's going to be upset. I mean, I know Nashville's going to be grieving. You know, just like California and the whole freaking nation's grieving Michael Jackson. Um, and people in Florida, you know, Billy Mays, Hollywood, Ed McMahon, you know, when Fair Falls had died in her home, everybody out there was, was messed up. And I know everybody in Nashville right now. And across the country's going to be messed up. Houston's going to be messed up. And, you know, Baltimore is one going to be including them. A lot of people don't include Baltimore in a lot of his, his history because he wasn't here for a long time. He was with Tennessee for a very long time, but you know, I consider, even though I said he's been with Bulmer for many years, two years to me seems like many years. He's, he's played for us for 35 years for all I, you know, I'm concerned because he left an impression mark on Baltimore. That's a sad day, man. That's a sad day in NFL history. This is a tribute to his life, man. This is a tribute to Steve McNair's life because, you know, definitely I, I'm not, I don't have, if you're wondering if this is a tribute, where's the pictures and stuff? Well, I'm expressing my, my, my tribute. I'm giving my, my, my rest in peace speech because, Nine times out of ten, I won't be able to, you know, know I'll probably be able to attend this memorial service. And if they do, I will definitely be there no matter what it was. If it's public, I will definitely be there to pay my respects. Um, but 
You know, this is just like, uh, you know, it's just, just it's another day in, in NFL history that's, that's gone down as a real bad day. Um, this is not a good 4th of July. In fact, so bad that I've canceled my 4th of July plans. I was going to go down the harbor of Baltimore. I ain't going down there no more. I told you I'm up in Pittsburgh right now. It takes a couple hours to get down there. I should have left by now, but heard the news. and It was crazy, though, because I went on YouTube. I heard it. My, my grandfather was in my house, and he was watching the golf. And he said, hey, you know, uh, KDK, which is channel, uh, whatever the hell, channel, I can't remember. My head's over messed up right now. Up, in, up here in Pittsburgh, broke in and said, you know, Steve McNair been, been, uh, been, um, been shot and killed. Or at the bottom of the screen or something, so I didn't believe it, so I waited for the news to come over and watch it, and yeah, so. This is a day when we can all come together. No, it's just like, it's just like, you know, it's it, it's not an ordinary day, but it's a day we have to take and move on. And I'm repping 52 today because I know Ray's hurt right now. And, and some more roll. Uh, you know, Steve, man, we're, we're going to miss you, buddy. We're going to miss you, you know. We wish you could played longer, and we wish you could have been around longer. But some somebody had to take your life. You know, I'm not believing that murder suicide shit. And if anybody brings that to me, I'm gonna, you know, I can't mention on YouTube. But you know, whoever did this has to pay. And you know, thank God, a lot of people don't trust the police, and the police are bad. You know, it's it's, it's they're doing their job, and when they catch this person, I hope how old he is, how young he is. Hope he gets the long arm of the law up his ass. Or her ass. Or whoever the hell did it. Okay? And if we find that it was something other than murder, then we'll have to agree with that. But right now we're taking it as if somebody killed him. Because he was a lovely guy. I mean, you, you really can't say nothing about that because you just don't never know. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, he was never the guy, that, you know, do ever do suicide crap. You know, I'm not saying that because, you know, I know a lot of people that got in, in, uh, in, Millersville or whatever kind of Maryland, but that town in Maryland that got killed people in, in Baltimore County Hotel. I mean, people kill their children and their families and each other every day over stuff that doesn't make any sense. And they're perfectly normal people. Police officers, preachers, firemen, fuck school teachers, college professors kill themselves and their families over nothing. Over situations they can get out of. But we're not going to take it as, as that right now. We're not even taking it as he's murdered. We're taking his life and putting it into, a, into this whole glass ball and shaking it up so we can watch his life just come down and come down and come down and come down and watch the tribute to his life. Because we love him in Baltimore. We love him everywhere in this country. And this world is going to be upset. This is this country. I know a lot of NFL fans all over the world. And it's going to hurt them. Rest in peace, Stephen Mayor, age 36. Found dead, shot to death, murdered in his home in Nashville, Tennessee.